Welcome to the vlog, guys. So as most of you know, we're, we're getting back to work. We've got a horse show next week here in town. So all this week, it's been back to business. I mean, you know, of course we have a little fun, but uh, we've been hard at it all day, every day. Now, with that being said, Benny, which you guys have met, we saw him playing golf. He's, you know, new to our program here and um, he wants to, wants to become a showman, whatnot. And, that virtual stuff started going around and I wasn't really that interested myself. I thought, well, wait a minute, maybe this would be a good chance for Benny to get a little experience right here. We'll send a run in and, um, you know, get judged and he gets a chance to kind of get the juices flowing and see what happens. So come on over at, and it, at, today's the day that he's actually going to do his run. He's got to do pattern nine and he's using princess who princess is like 11, been shown a ton and it actually be a great, example for you guys to see like an older horse that's been shown a fair bit to see what happens you know things that could happen i'll kind of talk him through it or talk you guys through it basically as to what we're seeing the fun side of this this yesterday i'm out there with lee and benny and uh it turns out lee lee's shown princess once and his high score on her is 70 and a half and uh i just threw down a little bet down there a little challenge it's kind of what we do and i said lee I bet you $20 that Benny will top your score of 70 and a half. Lee immediately was like, no, I'm not doing it. I know he's going to beat me because he's had more time to repair her. She was pregnant when I rode her. The excuses just started rolling. And so anyway, I said, well, all right, well, here's the deal. If, if Benny doesn't top your 70 and a half, I owe you $20. If he does, at some point down the road, I will give Lee two weeks to prepare Princess and he can do one of these virtual ratings and send it in and he has a chance to try to top him if he can. So just adding a little, you know, a little something to it, trying to make it a real simulation of showing here. I've been trying to mess with Benny, he's not falling for it. You, you getting nervous yet? Yeah. See, we got him all shaft up in hat. And I think this is actually, you know, we kind of do this anyway, or I do, practice runs and stuff at home. You guys have seen my training pattern series, you know I go, you know, I go through this stuff all the time. But this is kind of taking it a step further with throwing the hat shaps on and we set a hard time of when he's got to go. And we've even got, of course, George showed up to come watch. So uh, anyway, I think this is gonna be real good practice for Benny also, just to kind of go out there. You know, it's not always about training all the time. Sometimes you got to put your hand down and actually show. Are you about ready? Yep, I'm ready to go. Awesome, Lee's out there getting the arena ready for you. Yep. So anyway, we'll go watch and see what happens. This will be fun. How about it? Pattern nine, we gotta run and stop back up. What did you score that, George? Zero? Cam? Nice, Cam says plus one, Barb? Plus half. I got money on the line, so I'm not saying anything yet. Yeah! It better spin there. Good shot off the first way. You had a little bit of an underspin, which if, if that happens to you, rather than try to move the front end, you're better off to lift your hand and gently move the hind end over. Yeah, plus that penalty half. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Pretty good. 
We only see them write two-year-olds. He could have used a fence right there. Yeah, then he's gonna come into a small slow to the right here. You getting nervous, Lee? He's not getting nervous. Coming into our stops here. What do you think, Bella? How's he doing? It, man, you are like a like the real crowd. He has a great rundown, huge stop, walks out just a little, and a great rollback. That's too bad. Well, that's too bad. I thought it was great. Well, we know what the going to do. So I know that's exactly what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, on the other hand, was no, real no, no. I can just hear you. Yeah, yeah Benny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing how you just turn the camera on and say do a pattern and it feels like you're at a horse show. Whoa! Oh, princess! I'm not nervous, he's 12 feet off his center marker on every circle. <laughs> wow! Now you got a video of this. Oh. Dropping the bridle. Oh. Thanks, Lee. I didn't know that it went all the way through that. Hey, yeah. that's Shoot, I guess I forgot to tell you that. Well, I didn't know that was even part of it. Imagine that. What a look at Lee, all the turns the camera off for the bit check. Yeah, that should have that Well nobody perfect. told me how this was working. <laughs> huh, money on the line. Well, just do it anyway, just in case they I mean I think it it should hopefully still look pretty. I mean, the mare's breathing hard. You got the same shirt on. That's good. So what'd you think? Uh, it's a little different than just riding, I mean, obviously. Yeah, but I mean, I thought you did a great job. The running stop was really good. Was really, really good, yeah. The, 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 that, that one, she stuck and stayed in it. So, you know, you went, you went a little long, but I'd yeah. rather that than, uh, you know, go too short of course if yeah. you have a horse that doesn't back up real well that's when if you can you'd want to try to time it where you don't have to back as back far, so far yeah. but um, I thought you pulled it off good I thought it'd be an easy plus half the only reason why it might not be is just maybe if they didn't think that backup was good enough, yeah. good enough so maybe it's a zero that first spin you're hooking around great had a little bit of an underspin right yep. when if that happens again rather than trying to fix the front end just pick up and just move that hind end over Benny, that was Great. What'd you guys think? I, I, I agree with everything you said. There was a lot more really good things in there than there were problems. You, you feeling okay today? You think this is puffy, don't you? Ah. Did you know that if I'd have been on that horse and done that first stop, I'd have been thrilled. Right? You would have just quit right there? I would have stopped and gotten <laughs> off the horse. It was so good. So I've had a lot of people asking questions about my board. Uh, wanting to see it, here it is. So it's kind of a little bit in code. I've got all the horses names right here. We kind of have some notes here, like if they're gonna get their manes braided. And then this is Martine and Lee's Benny's deal on who shampoos what. They've got their own system on when it gets done. And then I've just got Monday through Saturday and I just go through and write down who's gonna ride which horse, if they're gonna go on the treadmill, hot walker, turnout, 
hand walk, whatever it is, I put it on here and uh, it just really helps to be able to look and reference back like, okay, I rode that horse two days in a row and sometimes I'll put little notes on what I did with the horse because when you ride so many horses, sometimes it's hard to remember like what bridle I used or what I did yesterday and it worked really well or I might make a note for the next day on uh, what I want to try to do with that horse. We also put like, you know, any meds or treatment that they might need. And then over here, we just have some notes for the farrier. Uh, got some notes for video titles for stuff that we're going to try to shoot. And uh, then horse show lists. But this just, just really helps to try to keep things organized. Everybody can kind of see what's going on and they, uh, they, they know what's coming up next. And I see Rabbit on here. I want to go show you guys Rabbit. Rabbit is Princess's two-year-old filly. And you know, you just saw Benny show Princess. And Princess is one I've had since she was three. I missed the futurity finals on her by like half a point. She's by Smart Spook out of a Hollywood Dunnett mare. And she's like probably one of the sweetest horses of all time. She was in Sedona. Um, actually, Ryan, you were riding her. That was your, yep. your trail mount, which Looked pretty good to me. You had no hands most of the time. Good horse, yeah. Yeah. But have a look at Rabbit. She is the oldest one out of Princess. And she's starting out with the exact same personality as uh, as Princess. She's by Iceman, by Frozen Enterprise. And she's just two. She's really doing good. Big stopper, a lot like her mom. Yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys had fun watching Benny do a full run. I gave you a little bit of, um, you know, critique or I gave Benny a critique on things that he could do to improve. If you have any interest in knowing more about what I do to prepare horses for patterns, I have the training pattern series on my website, uh, mattmillsraining.com. Also, of course, there's the subscription as well, which that gets you access to all kinds of training videos, preparation for show, groundwork, things like that. So love for you to go check that out. Also, of course, you know, love the, the, the comments, the DMs. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go check out the Instagram. And uh, we'll see you guys next week.